What's up, y'all? It's your girl Sassy, and I'm back with another one straight facts. If you haven't already, make sure you drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when a girl posts. And last but not least, make sure you like this video up. Like this one, the last one, the last one, and the last one before they do those steps for your girl. If I seem loud, it's because I got the headphones and I was playing music. But oh, I gotta fix this shit. I'm supposed to lay on two sides. I had it. Should have bought my shell. Is that better? It's a little better. But yeah, it's the first day of class starting. Um, I'm tired as hell. I'm tired as hell. But yeah, stay tuned. So I'm back. I just finished eating. Um, I just want to come out here and, sh and you know, give y'all a little tips or whatever. So, I wanna, I'm not going to talk about relationships. So I think I pretty much touched on everything. Well, not everything, but I can't really speak on relationships because I haven't been in relationships. I just was giving y'all, like, the do's and don'ts, like, in a relationship. Um, but I really don't know no don'ts. Um, no don'ts. So, um, I just wanted to give some college tips. Um, I would say the first thing is... As a freshman, well, as, like, coming into, like, your freshman year, I feel like you should, you know, be strong. Be strong. Be confident in what you're doing. Be confident in what you're going for. Be confident in your, your determination of things. Meaning, like, know your drive. Know what you came here for. Like, everybody know, like, okay, yeah, I love dancing and stuff like that, but is this going to help me in the long run? And it, it may well. I mean, it might well. Um... I know in high school I wanted to do everything. I wanted to own my own dance studio. I wanted to be a nurse and then I wanted to own my own daycare because I love kids. As you guys can tell, I love kids. But it was like, okay, what is really going to get the bills paid? So I was talking to a lot of people and they were saying, you know, you could be a nurse. You could be the nurse first, make your money, stack your money up, and then branch out into daycare, owning your own dance studio because it's always going to be there. But then I was like, dang, I wanted to be like a dancer. Like, I want to be a professional dancer for, like, plus-size girls. Y'all know how, like, Lizzo is? Like, not, like, rapping and singing because, like, that ain't what I do or whatever the case may be. But, like, just put that out there. But, um, that was my goal. But, y'all see, things have changed. Um, I'm no longer a nursing major. Um, I'm currently a senior, but I'm a therapeutic rec major under nursing. But it's like I want to branch off into do, doing forensic DNA. Um, you could do a for you can be a forensic DNA nurse, but yeah, you could be a forensic DNA nurse. But I want to be a forensic DNA analysis, like working in the crime lab, the crime lab, um, sex trafficking, sex kits, and stuff like that, like DNA, like stuff like that. And yeah, that's what I really wanted to focus on. So, and I do side dancing as well. Y'all know I used to coach a dance team in New Orleans called Prime Elite Dance Company. But um, they're not a dance company no more, so I stopped coaching them. And then I help with uh, JFK dance dance team as well. That's my old high school. It was Lake Area, Pretty Paws at one point, but now it's John F. Kennedy. Um, Cougarettes. So um, yes, I help out with them from time to time. You know, that's my babies. So that's what I'm, you know, doing currently. But yeah, that's what I want to say. Know your drive. Know your know your, know what you striving for. Know what you're going for be punctual um and that's not even that's not even with school that's not that's not even with school it's through life period you don't want a person that's always late to stuff you don't want a person that's like you know because it's basically i'm gonna be honest with you it's disrespectful if somebody tell you to be on time this specific time 10 o'clock 9 o'clock and you come 10 15 10 30 it's it's not punctual it's not punctual and it's showing just disrespect to you're showing disrespect to the company or to the person that's trying to hi hire you. That's why I say be punctual. And even in class, like, I'm not that type of student. I don't know. I just, I always, I don't know what it is. My eye just be tripping. And I got a kind of sort of lazy eye. But it's also the sun. But, um, what I was about to say. And, yeah, in college, I mean, even in high school, I wasn't the type of student that, like, missing class. 
um in college you make your own set of rules you're basically your own individual young adult and you basically have to set like set aside like do i really want to go to class if i don't go to class then is it going to affect my grades what is going to affect um pros and cons of going to class and not going to class you know how you going to pass how you going to pass if you don't go to class how you going to know what your teacher talking about how you going to know what's going on if you don't go to class like that's just the pros and cons of not going to class now yeah it do be sometimes where you're not just not feeling it or you're not feeling good or whatever and there could be your excuse days but like as far as like i got an eight o'clock and like at one point like my freshman year um when you're a freshman under like 36 credits your advisor make your schedule for you and i did have an eight o'clock class at that time and i was just like not feeling that i wasn't used to it but i kind of sort of was but then i wasn't and then um i got to the point where making my own schedule and then i didn't have no eight o'clock classes but by me being a senior and about to graduate it was like you know you just get whatever you can and you just gotta go to class you just gotta get up and everybody be like I couldn't have no 8 o'clock class. I'm not a morning person. Most people are not morning persons, but I feel like you get your day started. You know, you get your day started 8 o'clock by 12, 30, 1 o'clock. You be done for the day. You get to relax, chill, sleep, take a nap, go hang out, do whatever you want to do. That's why I say the earlier, the better. And that's why I say be being punctual because, y'all, I'm not even going to lie. Like this morning, I had took a Benadryl, like y'all know, like I have like hives and I have breakouts and I was prescribed a Benadryl. Y'all can see I have like um, insect bites like these. It's all right here. Like these dog marks, they're insect bites. And um, I also like break out from hives and I was prescribed this Benadryl. And um, y'all, I like the past two nights, my skin just been on fire. Like all, both of my arms, like all right here, just been on fire and um and yeah i was just like um you know what i'm gonna pop this little benadryl and be out for the night but that benadryl took over like i had missed my eight o'clock class and it just be pissing me off but i'm glad this is the first day of class but it pisses me off like when i miss class like i be like damn like that's so like lazy that's lazy that's not like that's not me like i don't like missing class i don't like missing school i just that's just not me so yeah, the, the number two thing is being punctual. Number three is procrastination. Um, I'ma say that the reason why I say that is because it be many a days that you just don't feel like doing work. You're just over it, like you're over the semester or whatever. But you gotta look at the pro. I say look at the pros and cons of it because procrastination. Well, what procrastination? Where's where's it gonna get you? Like doing your work. Then you're gonna be behind on doing your work. Doing like taking a quiz. Like, say if your quiz is timed or whatever, uh, say if your test is timed and you only have, uh, like, you only have, you have a certain day to do it. So, say, like, one of my professors, like, I'm going to open it, say it's Monday and I'm going to leave the test open up till, I'm going to leave it up till tomorrow. Uh, but you have to take it within a set, it's the set time that you have class. So, say if my 8 o'clock class um, open up, have a test or whatever the case may be, or have, a, like, a pop quiz. And she said, I'm going to leave it open until Tuesday, the next day, for 24 hours until y'all take me the next day for 8 o'clock. <laughs> and that's when I'm going to close it. Procrastination will get you when you uh, you got all day, you got the whole Monday to do it. And you got, like, you can say I'll have a long you want, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. But you get your shit together. You get your shit done. But the thing about procrastination, you wait to the last minute to do it. And then you like shit out of luck when you failing and getting a fucking bad grade because you procrastinated. You 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 lacked all of that. You lacked all of that. And it was like what what you was being lazy for like you could have knocked out this ten this you could have knocked out that ten question quiz just like that. So I don't know about y'all, but I know with me, like when you work hard and you study hard and you put in that hard ass work, them them that outcome be nice. I ain't even gonna lie. Like you, when you know you worked hard, when you know you like strived and did what the fuck you was supposed to do, like that outcome be fire. That 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 outcome be fire. Like like that should be like making me, you know, happy. Like damn, bitch, a really uh, a bitch really like did that shit. Like I really got all A's. Like damn, I can't believe this. I really had a, like a 4.0. Like instead of you procrastinating and oh. 
I'm gonna get the answer to somebody else in the class. I'm a, I'm a cheat my way. I, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that or whatever. It's, and there's nothing wrong. Is nothing wrong with that. You get it. You, the, the best way you, just, the best way for you to succeed is, you know, do what you, do what, you, do what, do what you've been doing. I mean, ain't no, I ain't, I ain't got no shame and nobody game or whatever. But it's just not me. Um, I'm not a cheater. I don't like people to cheat on me because I work hard for my fucking answers. Now, I don't mind sharing answers. I don't mind. But, like, when shit, like, really, like, when we got papers and shit, and you want to use my paper and say if I got an 85 and, nigga, you copy exactly from me, you want you probably want an A. But copying off me got you a B or probably a C because they see that you copied off me. Like, shit like that procrastination will get your ass. And I would say last but not least is time management. And manage your time wisely. Please do. That goes along with procrastination. Like manage your time wisely. I'm gonna say it for the people when I beg. <laughs> manage your time wisely. Time management. Yes. I learned all of this. Like these they had these workshops uh, my freshman year. It was called Keys to Success. And I used to work for them too. Um through C C U S A. It used to be C U S A, but it's C it's C S S C S wait, it's something. Student Center for Student Success. And it basically like it branched out into like workshops where they do have like um financial aid pro financial aid problems, financial problems, time management problems, um stress management, all of that, like all of that plays a key part in college i'm telling y'all for a fact like that shit like my freshman year i wasn't used to this shit like i wasn't used to college life and now when i tell y'all like um history history i'm not good in at all i never did like history i don't like i like african-american history like african-american studies african-american i mean black african-american studies stuff like that i like learning about us my culture but like uh korean war World War One, World War Two. I don't like all of that. Like Ghana, not a big fan of all of that. Like, yeah, I don't see the point of me learning it, but it's world history. But I had um history of civilization, um my freshman year, and I kid you not, he had gave us this outline of how he wanted all his papers to be and i think his papers used to be like maybe two to three two to four pages or whatever the case may be and you had to follow this outline if you follow that outline it would have got you your two to two to four papers pages and i wasn't used to that like i just wasn't used to like the whole like college life and following this curriculum so i was writing how i wanted to write and i kid you not like i cried i used to be in a lot i didn't have no computer I used to be the library is your best friend. The library is your best friend, and they used to be my best friend. I stayed in it before I got a laptop. I used to stay in the library, and I tell you, um, I kid you not. I think maybe I was writing a paper, and I just wasn't getting. It. He had gave me my first. I had an F. I think a F or a D on my paper. Like it was like a proofread. Then it was like you're gonna go back and proofread and correct all your mistakes and write how I tell you follow this curriculum, and if you follow it, it's gonna get you your B or A. Or whatever the case may be and I kid you not I cried in that library maybe for a good I would say 20 minutes 30 minutes and I called my daddy and my daddy told me to call my auntie because that's what she likes she like paper she like history and um, I called my auntie and she was like you gotta pray on it she was like um if you if you need help with anything I'm gonna help you with the papers and stuff like that but I was like you know what I'm a, I'm, I gotta do it like I gotta do it and this was like that in high school too like I used to take um, civics and civics I wasn't good in either and I just I came to my professor but college they don't want to hear that shit they don't want to hear that shit at all they don't want to hear no excuses you're a college student you're supposed to write college professional college professionally like is that if that's like a phrase or a word or whatever you're supposed to write professionally like a college student and um in civics in high school i think i was in 10th grade i told my um teacher i said you know what I'm, i told her in the beginning of the semester i'm not good in history i'm not a i'm not a you know a student that succeed well in history so if you know if you can just work with me and stay on top of me and stuff like that and i kid you not i passed with an a if i could show you my transcript i would my high school transcript i passed with an a in that class but here in history of civilization at, in college my freshman year i um I cried and I did the shit. I did the shit and I think I passed with an A. I think it was um 
if y'all ever had professor turner he's old he probably he real old like 70 80 and um them old people they don't play they be strict on what the hell they mean like if it, they their rules go by their rules and um yeah it was he had told me to follow his curriculum and i cried and i got over it and i said you know you speak it you will succeed you speak it and it shall happen and um believe it or not i got it i passed with an a i passed with an a in that class um but that goes to show you like telling y'all college is something but i just wanted to share some college tips with y'all um so i would say the number one number one is um i don't know what i said but i just know time management time management procrastination um pump be punctual and i forgot the first one i said but yeah oh yeah be studious I'm studious studious i'm a studious student but yeah i love y'all make sure y'all tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to life of sassy and tell them come join the plush gang 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 and until then i love y'all and thank you for the new subscribers that have joined i love you too and welcome to the life of sassy